Hi, everybody. I'm Carrie Yates. And I'm Jan Birkins. And we are the authors of Shifting the Balance, Six Ways to Bring the Science of Reading into the Balanced Literacy Classroom. Yes. And you can tell that we live in different parts of the country because Carrie's up there still wearing sweaters. And Two layers. Then, yeah. And I'm down here in Georgia where it's already getting pretty hot. Yeah. So there is a lot of conversation um, these days about the codable texts. There is, there is. And a funny thing happened when we wrote Shifting the Balance. We developed an example of a decodable text and we, we crafted it ourselves simply to, we didn't want to violate anybody's copyright and we just wanted to kind of have something that we could put together on our own. And so it was called The Pup Can Run. Yeah. <laughs> and the fun thing that happened with our example of the quotable text that also supported sense making and, you know, was a fun topic for kids to think about. Um, the thing that happened was all kinds of people started to write to us and ask where they could get their hands on the rest of that book, <laughs> A Pup Can Run. Yeah. And um, we had to keep saying, well, it's not really a book, not a real book. It's an example <laughs> in chapter six of Shifting the Balance. And chapter six of Shifting the Balance is all about reconsidering text selection for beginning readers. Yes. And it, it makes the case for um, texts that are decodable, which um, theoretically all texts are decodable, but even more importantly, that they're aligned to where students are in their growing knowledge of phonics. And so um, in addition to be, being decodable, they need to be aligned. So. Yeah. So we decided to go ahead and, and actually write <laughs> The Pup Can Run. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, why not? A lot of people seem to be interested in the fact that The Pup Can Run. So why not make a little book? So yeah, we did. And that's, yeah, and that's the feature in this blog. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, the blog will be linked um, in the text below. But um, it does a couple of things. Um, and actually, the name of it has changed. And now I'm not going to even remember the name of it. It's a pup can. A, a pup can. Yeah. And so a pup can. As you know, a pup can run, but a pup can do many things. Do lots of things. Yes. Yeah. A pup can beg, a pup can dig. Yeah. Um, all kinds of things that give children practice with reading closed syllable CVC words. Yeah. Um, and the way the book is set up, they read the text on the right hand page, they decode, and then turn the page to look at the picture and confirm. Which really supports the ideas in shift five, which drive us to really ensuring that students decode first and rely on meaning and context only to confirm what they have decoded. Yes. So we've we made this book available and it's it's not for sale we just want you to have it um, yeah. and we made it available in a few different formats yeah it's in a flip book so you can project it and flip the pages up on the screen if my are... favorite part of a flip book is when you turn the page how it goes <laughs> and it that <laughs> slurping sound <laughs> Um, but there's also a downloadable PDF with some directions about how you can print and stack and cut and staple and put a little book in kids' hands. And mm -hmm. we made a few other tools that could support some independent practice, um, some writing and um, so forth um, with, with the concepts in a pup can. <laughs> a pup can run, but now the name is a pup can. <laughs> So we hope you enjoy it. We're excited to share this little book with you. Yeah. And again, it is a definitely a decodable book and you'll have to decide if it is aligned with mm -hmm. where your students are right now in their progression of learning to decode our written language of English. So have fun with a pup and a pup can. Pup can do stuff. <laughs> can do stuff. A pup can do stuff. Bye friends. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>